Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have another video for you featuring the Simon Says Stamp September card kit. And this is the Look for the Rainbows card kit. And so I'm just going to be kind of chatting with you guys and telling you a little bit about what I'm doing. Um, so I'm starting with the three envelopes that came in the kit. So pretty and vibrant. I am decided to make a small envelope flip book so I'm starting off by um, just adding some liquid glue on the flap of the blue envelope and as y'all can see I kind of went overboard with that glue I was not supposed to add glue to the whole flap only half of it and um, yeah so it's okay because you can fix that mistake so I'm just sliding the flap of the blue envelope right down into the red envelope and here's where I discovered my mistake um, so instead of closing that together I decided to go ahead and grab my paper cutter and um, go ahead and cut down a mat to mat on the top of this um, this side of the envelope so I did not do much preparation at all for this project I had it in my head that I wanted to do something like this but I did not plan ahead so ultimately you'll see I did change a few things this is a really simple little project very easy to do you can do it however you want you can add the envelopes together however you want you can make it a fold out a three fold out um, kind of like layout um, but yeah I just want it to be a, like a, a small I guess you can call it like a, a little flip book to keep in my handbag so I didn't want to make it too bulky so the three envelopes was perfect so I cut down a piece of the blue cardstock that came in the kit and I am just going to mat that right down inside of uh, that, uh, that side of the envelope where I added that uh, glue. I'm going to trim that extra little bit off so that my mat can fit in and the envelope can close correctly. And um, yeah, I'm just going to mat that down. After I got to working on this, I I decided that it was just a little bit too much of the red and the blue. Um, and I didn't do the preparation that I should have done. I should have added uh, more of those designer papers by Vicki Booten that came in the kit. Um, but you'll see um, how it changes um, in the end. So I'm just going to mat this right down on top of where that glue is already at. Uh, on this side of the card and that'll be um, basically a photo mat um, so yeah so <laughs> I really didn't plan it out so now I'm just gonna take this uh, the um, other envelope and I'm basically gonna add that into the back and that is going to be my back page and these envelopes um, are already sticky. You just pull um, the backing tape off um, and then they're already sticky. But I, I also wanted to add a little bit of glue on them just to make sure my book stayed together and didn't fall apart. And as y'all can see, the envelopes didn't really line up perfectly but it's okay because I didn't mind having that blue envelope kind of stick out a little bit because I wanted that blue to show after I added all my mats and you'll see what I mean later on in the video so basically I'll just slide this flap right down into the back of the blue envelope and give it a good press and um, that red flap is just gonna go right across and if I would have did more planning, I could have just cut that part off because I did end up adding like a little spine piece or kind of like a spine binding on the back of there. And sorry if I'm rambling, I am drinking my coffee this morning and I'm just 
kind of wired up right now so I am going to glue that red flap over and this is going to be the back of my little booklet and I was using that Aileen's glue I got from Dollar Tree it's a good craft glue but I should have really used my art glitter glue throughout this project um, it um, dries faster and it doesn't leave the the little uh, bumpy texture uh, after it dries um, but um, this this turned out okay so I also decided to use that blue paper to mat the front cover of my little book um, but in the end, you'll see that I also changed that up. I really should have done some preparation before I, you know, started filming. Um, but I, like I said, I had the idea in my head and I just was going. So, yeah. So I am going to add this mat onto the front cover, but like I said, after I, I kept looking at it, like something is just not right. Um, and it was just too much of the red and the blue color, um, but yeah, in the end, y'all will see, it, it, it worked out. And that's the good thing about these little projects. You can make as many mistakes as you want, but if you don't give up on the project, usually you can fix it some kind of way. So I decided before I put the blue mat down that I needed some sort of a little closure for my little mini uh, book. So I decided to cut a couple of pieces of this Heidi Swap ribbon that y'all know I've been loving um, that I got from Tuesday morning so I'm going to use my double-sided tape and I am going to just tape this down on the front before I add um, the um, mats to the front and back and this is the half inch ribbon And I'm going to flip my little book over and I'm going to do the same thing to the back. And I'm just going to try to line those ribbons up um, <clears throat> to uh, match as much as I can. And I could have cut a lot of this out, but I actually just said, what the heck. I would rather you guys see the mistakes because uh, <laughs> we all make them, um, but they can all be corrected or you can change something up. You don't necessarily have to start your project all, all the way over. So I'm just burnishing that tape down and then... Um, now I can go ahead and add the mats on the front and back uh, covers of my little envelope book. And with these little envelope projects, you can add as many envelopes as you want. Um, I just wanted to do, just use the envelopes that came in the kit. And this is just a really small project. Um, just a small booklet that I can pull in and out of my purse, like a little brag book. Um, so that was my thinking. Even if I wanted to make it for somebody else, um, I could add maybe a gift card in this little booklet, um, an inspirational card, um, some tags, or whatever. With these kind of little envelope books with the pockets, you can just pretty much add whatever you want. Um, stickers, embellishments, you know, whatever your heart desires. So I'm going to do the same thing for the back cover, but I'm going to cut a piece of the red cardstock and um, place that on the back cover. And then when I did that, I noticed that I did cut the cardstock a little 
um, smaller than I should have. So it didn't really cover that whole envelope flap. But it's okay because you're going to see that is going to change too. And I'm sorry, um, I'm sure this is going to be a pretty long video because I really didn't cut, cut much out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted y'all to see my full little process and my thinking. I'm usually one of those people who go back and forth in my mind. And um, I'm not like a fast decision maker. I'm always overthinking stuff. And so, yeah, that, that's, that's my dilemma. So I didn't want to waste that cardstock, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. I'm going to pull the backing off of the tape from the ribbon, and I'm going to glue that little red panel down. I didn't really like it in the end uh, with that blue cardstock and that red cardstock on as my covers. Um, but at the most, or I should say at the least, those pieces of cardstock will give my little book a little extra um, stability. So see, you can still see the flap on the back of there. So there we are. We have that one pocket from that envelope. Flip it over, and then you have that second pocket right there. See how I'm going back and forth? In my mind, I'm like, okay, so what am I going to do next? So I really didn't think it all the way through, guys. Comment below and let me know if um, you, if you're kind of like me when you're scrapbooking. Sometimes, like, I get, I'm all over the place in my thinking. And then I'm going back and forth. And in my mind, I mean, it's just the process. It's very therapeutic, though, to be honest. So I'm using another piece of red cardstock yet again. And by the way, I really love the Simon Says Stamp cardstock. Their cardstock is really good quality cardstock. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make that comment. I always love the cardstock that come in these kits. I also came to the conclusion that sometimes the liquid glue um, doesn't hold as good on those metallic envelopes. Um, and that's another reason why I should have actually used the art glitter glue on there. I know that would have attached it with no problem. So now I am cutting um, the... Um, the turquoise color cardstock and I am cutting this down the middle this is eight and a half or yeah eight, eight and a half by eleven inches and I'm cutting it in half to make two cards and these I wanted to make as like little photo booklets that I'm gonna slide into the envelope uh, pockets so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna score those in half and um, just make them into a little booklet and so this will hold a couple of photos that I can just slide in and out of the pockets of my little booklet so I'm just basically checking the size of my little cart and um, making sure that it will slide in and fit into that envelope and my book will close with no problem and it does so 
I'm going to do the same for the other piece of cardstock. Y'all, after this project, my table was a mess. I just really wanted to get this video out to you guys because y'all know, I don't know if I mentioned it, but on Monday I will be starting school. <laughs> so I have a full-time job and then I will be taking my college classes at night or in the evenings when I get out of work I'll go straight to school so um, I'm probably going to be limited to posting my videos um, uh, only on the weekends for now um, so I definitely want to get a couple of videos out to you guys um, because I might not see y'all again until next weekend. Okay, so I have my two card inserts for my little booklet. And next I'm thinking this is just too much solid paper for my liking. So it's time for me to, I'm going to round the corners first of all on my cards. And I'm also going to map my cards with some white cardstock and also some of the cut aparts from the paper collection that came with the kit. And I'm just doing the same thing to both cards. And I don't know if y'all could, could tell, but I actually scored that, that first card in the wrong place. But I just, I, I left it like that because it fit in and it, it was not really a problem. But, yeah. Okay, so now we're here where I've, off camera, I just cut all my cut apart apart and now I'm just really trying to figure which one of these pretty cut aparts do I want to use for the cover of my book and ultimately I thought that the little birdie one looked the best for the cover I like that better and so basically that's the one that I chose I ended up um, matted it on that little piece of red cardstock. I kind of shabbied up the edges of the paper and um, and that was the the picture that I decided to use for the front. And now I'm just kind of choosing which cut aparts that I'm probably going to want on the inside of my book. So see here, this is where I believe in my mind. I made up my mind that, yeah, I, I want the little birdie. Okay, so here is where I decided I wanted to change up the front and back covers. I had already cut up a piece for the back off camera and shabbied up the edges and adhered that down to the back of the booklet. Now I am cutting a piece for the front of the booklet and I'm trying to make up in my mind what side of this paper I want to show. Um, because I love both sides. One side had like the type print on it, the really tiny type print. And the other side was a really colorful um, print. And then in the end, I decided on the colorful one because it pulled in all of the colors from the envelopes. And I thought that that coordinated best um, for my little booklet. 
So you'll see that's what I decided to add here. And I also kind of, uh, you'll see me using my scissors to kind of just shabby up the edges of the paper like here. And I just did that all the way around that piece. And then I'm just going to use my glue and go ahead and adhere that right over the top of that blue cardstock. And um, it turned out so much better like this with the pattern paper. And plus I was able to use more of the products from the kit. So I love all of these colors. It just came together so well. And yeah. I'm going to love pulling this little uh, mini um, envelope flip book out and showing my coworkers pictures of my children when they were little. Because that's, that's what I decided that I wanted to put in this little book. That Those pictures make me happy. All my kids are pretty much grown. My youngest uh, is a set of twins and they're 17 years old now. So I have 17 years old, I have a 20 year old, and I have a 21 year old. And so um, I just like looking at their baby pictures and their youth pictures. So I'm going to keep this in my purse. Okay, so here is the front and back covers of the book. And I decided on this piece of adhesive uh, burlap that I got from Tuesday morning, and I love it. Um, it it's already sticky, um, but I wanted to add some art glitter glue on there um, so that I can make sure that it doesn't come apart. And um, it turned out really, really well. So I am just going to lay half down on the front cover and adhere that really good and I'm going to turn it over and adhere the other half to the back and there's my little spine piece there and I think that looks really really pretty the burlap with the rainbow colors. And then the little birdie picture, I think it really came together well. And I like to look at it because it's pretty. So now I'm just going to shabby the edges of that bird photo um, or cut apart adhere that and as y'all can see I added some of the American Crafts Chanel uh, enamel dots that came in the kit and I'm just gonna open that up and show you guys um, how I finished this little booklet off and so I added a little three by four photo of myself I added some of the cut aparts to the card there's my two of my girls when they were young and I plan on uh, adding more three by four little pictures there's some cut aparts and I've already at the photo corners there so yeah I mean you can definitely like spice this up with more embellishments but I think I love it like this I want to thank you guys for watching if you like it give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video bye